GL team, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Starting with a bit of training this morning, and you're gonna see a little bit of a different style of training today, because as I mentioned at the end of the last video, I've got a lot of lower back pain at the minute. So as well as trying to see zigs, and try and get them zigs, I'm trying to fix that and, and look into how to fix it. I came across Athleen X's YouTube channel, and I haven't watched him for the longest time. He's an OG in the game. Um, but I found this video, maybe I'll pop it up. Um, and it talks about anterior pelvic tilt. Now after watching a few of his videos, I think this is the one that I can relate to the most. Basically, a week lower back, my lower back is tilted, my pelvis is tilted. Um, not strong enough glutes, not strong enough core. And then when I do stuff like squats, snatches, that's an area that gets affected and deadlifts quite quickly. So today it's going to be a bit of a recovery day. My back still doesn't feel 100%. So I'm just going to use it as a recovery day. I'm going to do a lot of adductor, abductor warm up, get everything fine. I'm going to do some booty building, I'm going to do some glute bridges, and then hopefully I can get to a little bit of a workout. I just want to take you through a bit of a recovery session and just to, to give you an idea of what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of massage gun and also uh, a lot of hot water bowl on the area just to try and help soothe the pain a bit. But anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the start of this video. Okay team, adductor and abductor done. I can already feel my lower back flaring a little bit. Um, but yeah, a bit of a stretch as well in between the sets. Now, I know this is probably a little bit boring to watch, but I guess the whole meter behind this section of the video and this portion of the clip is, we need to look after our bodies. Like, we're in January. I want this year to be my best fitness year so far, enter as many competitions as possible, get into a really good shape and maintain it. Now, I'm not gonna do that if I'm just trying to smash heavy weights and not look after my body. So, really wanna strip back the first sort of, next, for the next two months, I need to strip back. I need to do adductor and adductor every sort of time I'm even activating my lower body. Uh, glute bridge, all of these movements, stretches and mobility, get on my case and it's important that you guys do it too and I guess that's why this portion of the video is in it. Look after your body, make sure you're doing your stretches, make sure you're doing the mobility because we want to be fit, healthy and we want to be able to do it for a long time. Pain-free abs. That's another really, really good one. And what they just basically go on to talk about is how your hip flexors and your back take over from having when you have a weak core, and that is why you're getting all these pains. And another perfect example is if I show you this video, I'll pop it up here. This is me doing a one rep max push press or push jerk at CrossFit after already doing a full wad, and you can see that I've got a lot of tension through my lower back, push my hips forward. That is because this isn't turning on tight enough. So there's a few ab exercises that I'm going to cycle into this workout. I think all of this is coming from basically being in lockdown, having very limited equipment to train with, keep staying on the same workouts and just being lazy with my programming, and just doing the same workouts and, and that actually skipping legs a lot has got worse and worse and worse from now we're at this point. So if what I'm saying is sort of reflecting with you, you need to be doing the same thing, you need to be focused on getting stronger in the areas you need to get stronger, strip it all back and go back to the basics. Need something to put under you. A pair of, a pair of sunglasses. 
I've said it before, it's so easy to just go in and do what you know and smash out good workouts and get your heart rate up and lift heavy, but to build a proper athlete, you need to have the foundations and that's just something I've been lacking. Those Athlean X videos are really, really good. I'll link some those two below that I've been following. Some of the ab workouts were I could really, really feel it. So hopefully I feel it tomorrow. It was all about turning off the hip flexors to really engage that core. So let's see if it works. Right now, I want to go home and show you a t-shirt that I've just got. It's sick. All right then, team, update. It is the day after. You can tell because I've just had a real skin fadey. How are we looking? That looks pretty sharp. My boy Ken sorted me out, you know. Right, anyway, public service announcement. announcement. You know I look after you lot. And this tea. One is a vibe, two is a steal. I picked this up on ASOS in the January sale. I've been eyeing it up, I think it's an ASOS exclusive. Look at the colour, first of all. Sort of a mustard with a brown. Now, who would have thought that those two would be a vibe together? Logo on the front, logo on the back, and it is a vibe. Now, I'm gonna do one of these nice transitions because I'm still that guy. Well, how did that look? Did that come off? First of all, look at the fit, oversize. The material is paying, look, comfortable, nice oversized, don't show the beer belly. And you know what we like, we like a nice high neck. So ASOS, they've done a couple of colourways, um, ASOS exclusive, New Balance. New Balance have sort of been under the radar for the longest time and now they're, they're on the rise. I'm a big fan, I bought that tracksuit to travel into New York and now this is going straight in the rotation. Yep, definitely a vibe. Rule 101 team, life hack for curry, you know what I'm doing. I don't think this boot's going to take my weight. Yeah, you're a heavy boy. But you never drive in shoes where the toe box will crease. Day trip today, just gone down to Brighton. Right some lunch, I'm gonna do some shopping and a mix around. I'm so cold. Training shop. Yeah, we'll see what the day has it to offer. I'm just gaffling bad luck. Right, what was that place called? We're trying to be better at vlogging, which no means way. film, actual film some bits. No, no way, way home? No, no way man, home? No, <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere man. No we had to wait man. about 25 minutes to get in. It's only tiny in there. But a cool little quirky place. Everywhere in Brighton's quite quirky, isn't it? Yeah. But the pancakes were banging. They were really good. good. Quick service. That Eggs, bacon, and it, was like a maple, it wasn't a maple syrup, no, it was like a maple, like a maple butter. butter. Yeah. I would give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Definitely would go again. Would go again. Would bang. Urban legend. Urban, urban to, legend. To be true. We just stumbled across a donut shop. I think that used to be a cupcake shop as well. How ideal. Yeah. What's happened, Ross? I'm gonna tell the truth what happened. Only I. Lovely, lovely day in Brighton, right, by the way. But then, uh, Get Only back I to the car. Buy a parking ticket for six pounds fifty and not put it in the car. Yeah, we walked to the car and Beth went, "Did you put the ticket in?" I said, "No, I didn't touch the ticket." No, oh. I didn't As we're walking up, we see a big ticket, a uh, parking fine. But the the guy was there, so we spoke to him. He said it's actually quite common. So appealing I'm not the, the process. Only one, so I think I'm not sure if I believe it. Right. Anyway. Do you reckon that's all I need to upload? A picture of the ticket and the ticket Your, with that. Yeah. Right, before time. we set off, I want to try one of these bad boys. We've got three, all the flavours are quite random, but they actually had the calories on all of them, and they're yeah. all like 150, Similar, they? like quite low. So, I'm going to go for this bad boy just to glaze. Ooh. Mm. I'm really thirsty. Nice. Great box standard, to be fair. Mm. I didn't think they looked that special. No crispy cream. It's quite a cool shot. Yeah, um, fashion is quite cool. Right, come on, let's get on road. Let's go, on to road. Okay team, we're gonna cap off the video here. I actually had to rest all week after that sort of recovery session. 
My back was in agony, it was giving me up. It wasn't a good time. You can see how bad my lower back is, and it's just not straight at all. So, like I said, that is gonna be a huge focus for me moving forward over the next few months and building on it. Uh, I did another session very, very similar to the one I did last week, yesterday, and that felt a lot better. No pains today, and then I just went in and a little juicy arm session. Um, but yeah, lots of recovery needed and uh, lots of work needed. It's exciting. I'm going to try and do a video with Ziggs, talking you through it in a bit more detail. If you want to know more about it, give me a shout, let me know. If not, hang around, stay tuned for the next few videos. Something is coming and I keep saying it and I'm fed up of saying it, but I promise you something decent is coming. So stick around and the channel will blow. Right, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next